Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video. Today is an exciting day for me. I'm in the shed to house and behind you is the last wall that I have to do downstairs. So if you look down here, you can already see I have a piece cut. I uh, have my plug cover cut out for it, all nine yards. And I'm ready. So basically what we're doing today is the last wall in the shed to house. I can't get you back too far where you can get a whole view of the whole wall. So this board is going to come over to about right here. So I'll get it up, get it screwed in place. Um, I've got my mark, my studs marked everywhere. I am getting ready to mark the top for the stud. That way I just kind of know. And then it's already pre-cut and everything, and it's ready to go up. So I'm getting excited. This is the last wall downstairs. Of course, now you know what that means. Then we have to do a window in each loft. I think I have enough materials for that. And then, I don't know. Uh, let's get that sun out of your eyes there for a minute. I mean, people, materials are stupid priced right now. Uh, I've heard that 4x4x12s four by four by or 14s are like $80 a piece. Um, I don't need any of those, luckily. But I did go in there the other day and just kind of happened to glance at the 2x4s. And they're like $8 a piece. Uh, OSB's gone up, what? Uh, I think it's over $30 a sheet now. I think it's well over $30. I think it's like $34 a sheet. And that was the last time I looked at two weeks ago. Uh, it's probably gone up a whole lot more since then. And I need a lot more OSB to finish upstairs. And at that price, no, I'm not interested. I will just do what I can. And we may have to end up starting to texture and put cabinets and things in downstairs and get the downstairs completed before we go upstairs. I just can't afford to spend that, and I'm not going to spend that. Um, anyways, let me get this piece of wood up there and we'll see if it's going to fit. Um, I got a few markings to make and stuff and then maybe I'll let you guys see me put this piece of wood up. And you can see there's still sawdust on it. Um, if you look, I mean there, there's plenty of sawdust. I've not pre-tried to fit it or anything. So... You guys will join. If I made a mistake, you guys will get to see it. So let me get these marked, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so, well, i got to move this ladder. Um, I only have to mark two spots just to follow my studs all the way up. That's all I need. All right, ladder's moved. Let's get this. Let's see, you guys are going to want to face right over there. I'm going to try not to knock you guys off the tripod. No promises, but I'm going to try not to. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Everything's out of the way. I'm going to fix this insulation real quick down here at the bottom. There we go. I see the plug, so that means at least I'm halfway right. Yes, sir, I think I got it too, too short down at the bottom. So, let me just, well, I don't even have any screws for temporarily. All right, so let me get this piece up there. It looks like I may have cut it about a quarter of an inch too low. Um, I don't know why. I may be dead. I remember it was 15 and 7 eighths. Um, hmm. I don't know. So let me see what I can do on this. I, if I didn't have to do anything, it's just trim the top. So let me get this board up here and we'll see what we got to do. All right, there we go. That piece is up. Yes, I did have to cut the top off about an eighth of an inch. Um, you know, that's just sixteenth of an inch. Uh, we'll just say a quarter. I, I cut it off a quarter. It wasn't near that much. but So, yes, I did fudge up. Uh, it didn't hurt. You know, it, it's nothing. Now, let me show you 
one of the problems that I run across being this used to be the original outside wall so it was warped and I fought that the whole time you can see a gap right here there's no gap here let me get you guys down here where I'm at there's no gap here and then all of a sudden there's a gap down there at the bottom that is because this wall has somehow kind of bellied right here there's nothing I could do about it down to bottom is enough gap I would not worry about that up here I don't know if I'll cut a piece to go in there or when I put my corner in to texture but it is what it is it's not that huge of a deal I'm used to dealing with it well you guys are dancing with me we're all over the place here right so that leads me down to cutting this out for the TV and getting ready to put my next piece up. Now my next piece is going to have a little over half the TV and probably half the window. So that's what we got to deal with so let's get her done. Alright so I got my second piece up. I'm trying not to blind you guys. But I got it up, got everything cut out. Uh, all I got to do now is if you see this piece of, oh, uh, let's get you down here. You see that piece right down there? I got to put that in. But I do have to put a corner edge in there. So I'll work on that and then get that piece in there. And I got to screw the bottom of this. You can see the plug's not in all the way. I got to screw the bottom of this. Um, and then we're ready. I mean, that, that's that's going to be the walls in. So let's get that done real quick, and I'll bring you guys right back. I don't know How about you guys. Let me get this feature lifeline in here. There we go. I don't know about you guys, but I'm extremely excited. This will be all of my downstairs walls. Now, before it gets too cold out, um, I want to run up to the loft on each side, put the windows in. I've already got the windows, I've already got the two by four to frame it out. And then I'm watching people over here through the window, I see people walking. Um, and then I've got all the insulation to do the whole upstairs. So I can get that done. Uh, I do want to paint the outside. So I'm hoping that I've got enough to keep me busy on this place at least until Thanksgiving and maybe Christmas maybe by then the prices will have come down a little bit because I'm not giving that for OSB why well, can't afford to give that for OSB to finish the top up so we'll just have to go see what we can get done anyways with that being said I'm getting ready to end this you guys haven't even seen the rest of what I've done jeez that ain't fair now let's uh I'm gonna pause this real quick and get this piece cut and get the piece of USB cut, get it in, and you guys can see the final product. So I'll be right back. All right, so we got it all done. Um, put my pencil down. Everything worked out great, no major issues. I got all the way over in there, all the way up in there, all the way over. So if you guys remember right, um, the little notches that you see uh, there, and back here, that's where the ship's ladders go up. So, yeah, one will be angled in front of the window. Not a big deal, I don't think. I'd rather have, I was going to take that window out, but I'd rather have the little bit of sunlight that's going to let shine through, shine through, than get rid of the window. And besides, it looks aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing on the outside. So anyways, with all that being said, we're done here. You guys, please like this video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please comment down below. Please subscribe. And once you do, smash, click that subscribe button, smash that bell notification, go all the way up to the top and click all. So you'll be notified on every single video that we post. Uh, share us on your social media pages. Follow us on Facebook under General Vlog Video. And remember, when I ask you to subscribe, it's not like I'm asking for a magazine subscription. It does not cost you a dime and is 100% free. Just helps our channel grow the same way that a thumbs up helps our channel grow. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And remember, 
all my walls and all my downstairs ceilings are done. But I'm still my own cameraman, which means I gotta get up close and personal with you guys and gently poke you in the ear to turn this thing off. With that being said, I hope you guys have a super great day and please, please, please be safe. We'll see you on the next video or the next live stream.